What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I specifically want to talk about inflation checks and inflation reduction because what's happening right now is there's a lot of discussions. There's a lot of talks on inflation reduction and there's a lot of people that are kind of miss uh, spreading misinformation on whether something's going to be a inflation check, something's going to be uh, in pretty much disinflationary, it's pulling inflation down, it's going to be less expensive for the American people. And one of the groups that's being hit the hardest are Social Security recipients. Now I want to address what's going on here and explain everything that you need to know. Because honestly, with all the talks going around on uh, inflation reduction and the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, this is likely to pass. Now there is one specific holdout and that's Senator, um, Senator Kirsten Sinema out of Arizona. Now, people keep on asking me, how is this going to help us? And what are the chances of seeing another stimulus check to go along with this? Well, the chances are not high for a stimulus check. But the narrative uh, lately, especially, has not been on stimulus. It honestly hasn't. It has actually been on reducing the effects of inflation on the American people. That's what we know. Now, there is one main bill, again, that's been being discussed lately, and that's the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. Well, this bill is coming from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Joe Manchin. Now, the reason why this is such a big bill is, I don't mean big as to the, the scale of the size. I mean as far as what it's tackling, because this has everything to do with climate, prescription um, costs, and also uh, corporate taxes. Now, I bring up this bill because in this bill, Democrats are attempting to put something together that's going to lower the cost for the American people. Now, it's going to put a cap on uh, out-of-pocket medical expenses for people on Medicare, right? And that's going to be $2,000 per year. We know prescription drugs are going to be less expensive because now Medicaid can actually uh, go and negotiate these prices. And we also know that there will be many climate tax credits for electric vehicles and solar. Now, what we've been hearing though, over the past few months, is that lawmakers are wanting to do something to provide some relief to those on social security. But the problem is as to what extent, how much, who would qualify, and when would they get this? Well, the things that we've been hearing recently are all on the cost of living adjustment and the cost of living adjustment for 2023. The frustrating part about what's being said right now is everybody on Social Security, they, they need some additional help, right? And we know that we've seen this for the past year. But there were talks last year Back in 2021, before anybody received the cost limit adjustment for 2022, there were discussions as to potentially passing up to maybe $200 per month to Social Security recipients as a boost, exactly what President Biden promised when he was running for president. However, that never happened. And the same discussions are happening now, but the reason why this is so frustrating is because Lawmakers are saying right now that they want to see, they want to pretty much wait and see what the cost of living adjustment for 2023 is going to look like. Because here's what happened last year. The cost of living adjustment came out and we knew it was going to be 5.9%. We knew this in October, right? Because July, uh, August, September, those are the three months that matter. Okay, not October, November, December. So in October of 2021, we knew exactly what the cost of living adjustment for 2023 was going to, or 2022 was going to be. It was going to be 5.9%. Now, here's the issue. Many expected inflation was going to drop. It was going to drop under 5.9%, which means at 5.9% as the cost of living adjustment, which was locked in in October, that would have meant that Social Security recipients would have received a higher cost of adjustment than what inflation was, meaning they would have had a little bit extra every single month. Now, speed up to today, fast forward a little bit, and here's where we stand. Right now, the cost of living adjustment is expected to be 
over 9%, okay, over 9%. Here's the reason why this could, could potentially be, uh, you know, troubling for Social Security recipients today. As of right now, the expectation is that there's going to be an average increase of about $160 to $165 per month on the for Social Security recipients in 2023. That's from the cost of living adjustment. So when you when we're seeing these reports that say the Biden administration is going to give us $200 monthly stimulus checks for all Social Security recipients, just understand that's not the case. This is not entirely truthful. The truth is that the cost of living adjustment is what is going to make up this entire increase. But let's let's go back to what lawmakers were looking at last year. And lawmakers kept saying that we, we need to wait and see. And the reason why they're going to do the exact same thing, according to multiple reports that we have seen over the past two to three months, is because lawmakers want to wait and see what does the cost of living adjustment look like for 2023. Once they know that, then they can determine whether or not people on Social Security will need additional help. That's one of the reasons why they want to pass this bill to lower the, the cost of prescription medications because that would act as another small boost. You can take that money and you can use it elsewhere. Also, the cap on uh, out-of-pocket medical expenses. And the average person pays about, I think it's about $6,600, 64, something like that, right? So if $2,000 is the cap, that means you're gonna save about $4,600 per year in out-of-pocket medical expenses. So you factor in $4,200, you factor in the, the cost of lower prescription medication prices. Let's say it's $100 a month. Um, so that, or let's say that's $40 a month. So with the cost of living adjustment at 100, roughly $160, $40 a month coming from, uh, you know, the you know, less expensive, uh, you know, medications, that puts you about $200. Then you got $4,600 per year, uh, you know, from, uh, you know, pretty much your savings, right? Uh, from uh, out-of-pocket medical expenses, well, okay, that's that's good. So let's let's just say that's 350 bucks. We'll just say 300 dollars, right? To round it, be very simple. That puts you about 500 dollars per month savings. Do you, do you see why lawmakers are waiting? Because lawmakers want to see what does the cost of living adjustment potentially look like before they decide. Hey, we need to give an additional 200 dollars per month. We need to do more for people on Social Security or. The bad part is they could also do a little bit less. So that's kind of what we know at this time. One thing I can tell you is that inflation checks are what's being discussed. The, the talks of stimulus checks, no more. I haven't heard lawmakers talk about stimulus checks unless it's talking about stimulus checks in a negative manner, saying that, hey, in, uh, stimulus checks are the ones that caused us this 9.1% uh, inflation rate. So right now, that's what we're seeing. As I know more, I promise I'll come back on and share all latest news and updates. Again, just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. If you have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.